There's a lot of games that take influence from Greek mythology, but if you want one that really doubles down, I'd like to introduce you to Apotheon. Developed by Alien Trap in 2015, Apotheon takes place in ancient Greece, where the gods have decided to abandon the mortal world and let humanity die. Crops yield no harvest, there's no animals to hunt, and there isn't even sunlight. In this world, you'll take the role of Nicandrios, who, after fending off invaders trying to destroy his city, makes a deal with the goddess Hera to teach the gods a lesson and save the world. From here, you will ascend to Mount Olympus and convince the gods through various means to give you their strength as you work your way up to take down Zeus. So the first thing you probably noticed about Apotheon is its striking art style. Apotheon uses the art style of ancient Greek pottery, which gives it a wonderful and unique look. The developers did a lot of research to make everything look accurate to the style, and I could certainly say there were some authenticities I was surprised they included. Backgrounds and blank space are even given details to make the game look like it's taking place on an ancient clay urn. While the translation of this art style to a game is impressive by itself, there's also a lot done with it in terms of color. Whereas Greek pottery used mainly black, orange, and a bit of white, Apotheon steps slightly outside the style to do some good art direction. Characters are drawn in black and orange outlines, with an accent of color to indicate their purpose. Enemies are given red hues, friendly characters are colored blue, and Nicandros himself is colored with a unique green, ensuring he always stands out from the rest. You will also go through varied environments. While Mount Olympus looks as you would typically expect, the underworld uses a lot of blue and grey tones, while the forests of Artemis are covered in green. These elements work towards making different aspects of the game distinct, and make this game worth remembering on presentation alone. One final aspect of the graphics is the lighting system. You will encounter many dark areas in the game, and I think the game does a good job using torches to illuminate areas, as well as any other sources of fire. The music is also pretty good. I'm not knowledgeable enough to know if the instrumentation or musical stylings are as authentic as the art direction, but I can say it does its job well, running the gambit from the serene woods to the dreary underworld to music appropriate for two Greek legends to be duking it out to. Now that presentation's out of the way, let's talk gameplay. I've seen a lot of people describe Apotheon as a Metroidvania style game, and while they are very similar, I wouldn't say that's accurate, since there's no item gating. In Apotheon, you basically have your full arsenal from the start, the only thing changing being your equipment and what you're able to craft as well as small passive bonuses. Apotheon is a side-scroller hack and slash with light platforming elements. Throughout the game, you will attack, block, jump, and occasionally roll your way throughout ancient Greece, with Mount Olympus acting as a hub world of sorts where you could explore and have access to shops to buy weapons, armor, materials, or upgrades to improve how much damage you deal. From here, you will be given a series of mandatory and optional gods to face in whatever order you please. Each god you challenge will give you a passive buff, improving your abilities to take on the next. Each god acts as their own self-contained level with its own challenges. Of the three beginning gods, Apollo gives you a more linear affair going from point A to point B to accomplish different tasks to bring him down. In the Forest of Artemis, however, you are given an open area, and are told to prove your worth as a hunter by killing various creatures. Finally, Demeter will have you journey through the Underworld, which will require you to go through various trials before you may proceed. An important thing to note here though is, Apotheon isn't solely based around combat. In the Underworld, for example, one of the trials is a platforming test where another is a memory test. This game features light puzzle elements, which helps the gameplay from getting as repetitive as it would be if it was solely a hack and slash. Talking about the combat for a bit, you'll be doing a lot of fighting throughout the game. Combat is pretty simple overall. You can attack a block, and that's about it. You do have a stamina bar though, where the more you attack and the lower it gets, it will cause you to attack slower, so you can't necessarily mash your way through encounters. Where combat shines though, is the options available to you. The weapons you use can make a huge difference. Where a sword has a shorter range than a club and spear, but attacks a lot faster. But the spear, apart from range, can also knock enemies back, making it useful for crowd control. You also have ranged options, like the javelin or the bow, 
or heck, even any melee weapon, as you can throw them all with the press of a button. Weapons have durability, so you'll constantly be replacing what you have and finding new ones. This isn't as bad as you think though, as you can store a lot in your inventory, and weapons are always plentiful. You'll also find shields scattered about, though you can only hold one at a time. You can also find new pieces of armor, which acts as a second health bar. What's really cool about the armor is that for any piece you find, it shows up on your character. I always love it when games do that. I also mentioned crafting materials before. These can be used to make everything from health potions, to firebombs, to invisibility potions, to traps. There's a lot of ways to get creative with what you make, so you should be sure to break everything you find to get materials. And yeah, you can break most of the environment. It's a good way to restore your health and find money. You can also find lockpicks to open chests and doors to find treasure that way. What's really cool is that you can find legendary pieces of equipment, like the Hydra arrows, the shield breaker mace, or just a good old flaming sword. It makes the game's exploration really rewarding when you find a ton of money or a new cool weapon. There's a lot to like about this game, apart from just being a visual marvel. This game really gets the feeling of exploration right, and searching every nook and cranny to find things. Finally, let's touch on boss battles. Like the gameplay, Apotheo features varied boss fights that run the gamut from being straight combat encounters to being basically puzzles unto themselves. Apollo the Sun God will fight you in the dark, as you use the light of a torch to find him. While you could also find yourself facing off against a giant cyclops or the fire-breathing chimera. Each encounter is different from the next, and the finale is especially fun. So if you're a fan of Greek mythology, or looking for a fun side-scroller action game with a dash of puzzle elements, try out Apotheon. 